So the process of creating a blog within Blogger is really quite simple. Uh, just make sure you have a Google account or Gmail account. Uh, start in the Chrome browser. Given that Blogger is a Google product, it's probably best to default to everything Google at this point. So let's start by simply typing in blogger.com. And here we are. So again, a very simple, clean interface that uh, Blogger is known for. You simply create a new blog by clicking on that button. So what comes up is a interface box with three decisions to make. The first is a title, uh, and uh, this one can be changed at any time later on. So this is the title of the blog as a whole that you'll put at the top. Uh, you'll see it every time you open up your blog. Uh, again, you can change this at any time. It should be fairly generic and should encompass uh, what the main point of this blog is all about. So we'll go with Mr. Welch's Schoolhouse. I have no idea if that's any good, but we'll try that one and alter it later on if we have to. So the next decision is more permanent. This one you can't change. This is the universal URL address that will be seen on the World Wide Web. Uh, it will be appended with .blogspot.com, which is the default domain address for Blogger. Uh, you can pay for your own specific domain address, uh, but I wouldn't do that. It's expensive and unnecessary. So we'll go in something like Mr. Welch Schoolhouse. Notice that there are no uh, spaces. You don't want that in an actual URL address. So it will look something like Mr. Welch Schoolhouse.blogspot.com. Let's see if that one is fine. Apparently it's, it's uh, not available. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll change it. So it will be Mr. Welch Schoolroom.blogspot.com. Let's see if that one works. That one's available. Excellent. So the final decision to make here is your theme. Again, like the title, you can change this anytime you want. I would start with something like simple. That's what I actually use. I use a, a sub uh, theme out of this one and uh, it can be altered and changed as well. So don't worry about this too much, but try simple first. It's got a nice two column approach, very clean. Uh, we'll click on this one, go create blog and it was created successfully. So here you have this domain issue. Don't uh, get sucked into this one. It just costs extra money that you don't need. So go no thanks. And here you are. You're now at the dashboard where you can start making your blog. All right, so now we're at the dashboard. Let's create a post. So remember a post is the piece that is continually updated on a daily or weekly basis. It's the main reason people go to a blog, normally speaking. Uh, and it is actually very simple to create. So if you're at your dashboard here, take a look at that button up above that says new post. Click on that and it takes you to your post interface uh, uh, page here. And it's very simple. You can take a look at it and it looks a lot like, uh, say, WordPad, a uh, very simplified uh, Microsoft Word interface. So you've got your Compose and HTML stick to Compose. It will be a largely a WYSIWYG interface. It'll look like how you're actually creating it. So avoid the HTML. You've got your undo buttons. Uh, for font, you've got the default font. I'd stick to that right now, but you can change that later on. Uh, font size is normally normal. So again, stick to that. Uh, in uh, HTML, you don't want to play around with too many fonts. Uh, you've got your typical bold italic underline uh, strike through is surprisingly useful you've got your font color issues you can create a link uh, you can of course put an image in a jpeg or gif or png uh, you can even put in a, say an mp4 video which i use once in a while which is nice uh, you've got emoticons uh, you've got alignments uh, so four options there very simple you've got your numbered and uh, numbered lists bullets uh, you can create indented block quotes and you can strip formatting away if say you copy and paste from another document it looks kind of wonky highlight that text and then press that button to remove any formatting and then you can start fresh 
So it's very simple, uh, just like a word processor. So let's do a very simple uh, blog uh, post. This is a test. There we are. And we could also create a link. Let's still do that. Go to Google. All right, what we want to do here is highlight the word that creates your link. Go up to link. See there, there we are. And put in the address. Now you don't even need to have HTTP, etc. Just go to google.ca. There we are. Uh, I would open this link in a new window. Click on that. You can test your link if you want. Yep, that works just fine. And then go OK. There you are. So now the uh, next decision is a title. I don't normally put a title in for my blog, for my uh, school blog, uh, precisely because I just want it dated. So if there's no actual title, it'll just put the date, which is what I want my students to see. But for our purposes, uh, we'll put a title in for this particular post uh, within the blog. So test, and that'll make our very plain title. And then we can go over to the right side. We can save this if we want. Uh, and by saving it, you can create it over the space of a day, which sometimes I do. After each class, I will uh, update my daily post. And then at the end of the day, I will press publish. So what, that's what we'll do right now. We'll press publish. Okay, and now we have, we're back at the dashboard. We have a whole list of our posts. Well, we only have one, but you'll see a whole list. Uh, the more you publish, you can edit it. Right, uh, so you can always go back and change it, update it, upgrade it. Uh, we want to view it, and we'll do that in a moment. And in fact, you can delete this guy too. So let's go view, see what it looks like. And this is our default blog post. So now this is an actual blog uh, with a blog post. Uh, not a very exciting one. See, we've got our title there. Uh, we've got our text here. This is a test and go to Google. And in fact, we actually created a live link. So we are now a hyperlink blog so we click on that and it takes us to google so that's it that's the basis of a very simple blog post within your blog you're ready to get serious from here on in i'm sure